Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Level Test Management Certification. We are in Chapter 1 talking about managing the test activities and continuing ahead with our segment 1.5 that is improving the test process. And as a part of today's tutorial, we'll be getting into 1.5.2 that is talking about model-based test process improvement. And we'll try to understand what are some of those comp uh, competitive uh, models available for organizations to follow to align their test process to that of the industry practices. Well, to begin with, of course, we had a discussion in our past tutorial to understand that there could be something which you can prom uh, perform as a part of the internally organization defined practices to improve your test process. That is more of like the ideal or PDCA. But at the same time, there are some industry practices as well. So if the organization look forward to add value or define their improvement process with those of the industry based models, we can also try understanding that what these models are and how exactly they contribute in terms of making things to the mark in order to improvise their process and bring it to an industry level preciseness that how exactly testing can be practiced the best way possible within the organization. And that's where the model-based uh, improvement uh, activities are being discussed here. So there are certain industry level models which can even give you the analysis and help you understand what are the key areas which needs improvement. And at the same time, they can give you a roadmap or can also help you with defining the steps which you can take up in order to perform the required improvement actions. So this topic is going to talk about the same in more detail and we'll be covering things related to team mi and the tpi okay so let's get into that and try understanding what these two different models are and what it takes to follow them however these topics are very high level but indeed uh, we do have some information for you which can help you better so one premise for both model-based test process improvement and analytical based improvement is the assumption that product quality is highly influenced by the quality of the process being used and applied. When applying model-based test process improvement, one uses a test mo improvement model. The test improvement models are based on best practices in testing and organize test improvement in a stepwise manner. Indeed, uh, that statement holds very good that good quality products come from well-aligned and well-organized process. So if your process has weaknesses, certainly it may not result into the right result or right quality product. Thus, improvising your process needs certain specific standards and at the same time, a perfect alignment to that of what exactly is needed to be done with respect to what you do. So these models basically help you align your process to that of your need and then even fulfill that how exactly your process will cater the need of the product. At the same time, bring you to those industry standards which can help you to align yourself to that of what should be the best to be there within your organization. However, we'll be covering some of these models. So these models are basically like several recommended process uh, models have emerged that support test process improvement. And some of these include test maturity model integration, which is team MI, and we do have TPI next, where TPI stands for test process improvement. Now model-based improvement can also be applied on a project level. However, if you go back, we discussed on the other one that is ideal, it was more on the organization level or more on the process perspective like Agile methodology. But we said that for the project specifications or project level implementation, it's not yet objectified. And that is where ideals cannot be applied at the project level. However, when it comes to model based, it is pretty much applicable at the project level as well. Further to add here, of course, uh, when it comes to the project level, the key areas are basically focused at areas are key areas are defined in the model that relate to the activities at the project level like planning and design and often largely omits uh, those that are at the organization level that means these models will not basically work on your policy and the test organization but mainly talk about the key activities of the test process within the project like test planning defining the test strategy and what is best suited for that particular project also to add Alternatively, one can also appropriately tailor the practices that addresses the organizational level to the project context. So we can pretty much align that as well and look forward to add the value right from applying these models. So let's get into these models and understand what exactly is the need and the expectations they set for the organization to improve their existing test process. To start with, the first one we are talking about is TMMI. 
Of course, test maturity model integration is composed of five maturity levels, which you can see at the bottom, we have five levels as initial, managed, defined, measured, and optimized. Each maturity level, except for TMM level one, contains test process areas and improvement goals. In addition, to facilitate and support its implementation, TMMI contains practices, sub-practices, and examples. TMMI was initially developed to complement the CMMI, which stands for Capability Maturity Model Integration, but today is widely used independent of CMMI to facilitate and support the update of TMMI in Agile development. Today, uh, a specific guideline has been developed that explains how TMMI can be used and supply, applied beneficially in Agile software development. So indeed, uh, the relationship here was that uh, TMMI was you know, complementing the CMMI, where CMMI is for the overall software development lifecycle and stands for capability maturity model. Then from there, we started working on this independently that we wanted to establish TMMI as a foundation to build the test process independent of the software development lifecycle. So now TMMI is an independent body guiding organizations to build a process which could be best in terms of quality definitions to the product and apply those activities, apply those practices which can help organization deliver the product a much better way than that of earlier. At the same time, these TMMI models are great in terms of implementing it. So we have five levels here. So initially, uh, the level one will be there, where generally we say that the organizations are very immature, do not have anything specific. It's kind of like the organizations are doing last minute preparation. When we have a standard process identified, at least one process somewhere, we give you level two. Then if you have individual process for different projects, like talking about strategies, unique approaches to deal with different projects, then we say that as level three, which is defined. Level four is when you start accumulating these independent process and putting them into the confined way. For example, if you have 100 processes to deal with 100 projects, of course, maintaining 100 projects is not easy. So you start quantifying them, like combining, say, 10 similar methods to one particular standard process or method. That is the approach or the strategy. Now, today we do have that, like we have seven standard approaches, analytical, methodical, process compliant, model-based, uh, reactive, consultative, and regression averse. Now, when the organization reached this level, we award you with level four, which is measured. And finally, when organization starts improv improvising their common mistakes, like optimizing and enhancing themselves, we give them level five. So that is where the five levels are. However, this is not a part of our discussion in the syllabus, but we would like to just give you a heads up that what these five levels stand for. If it's in case any time you would like to know more about it, we have the official website here. You can certainly go to tmmi.org to understand anything beyond the syllabus to understand about this particular context. So that's more about the TMMI. And let's look at the next one, which is TPI Next. So TPI Next, of course, which stands for Test Process Improvement and uh, is a model which defines basically 16 areas, each of which covers a specific aspect of the test process, like strategy, matrix, test tools. In fact, if you see on the right-hand side, I've got an example from the official website of TPI that gives you some kind of heads up. And at the same time, it's not a part of the syllabus. So let me remind you the diagram, what you have here, it is only for your kind information. You don't have to remember this diagram for the examination. This is just to give you more information if you're interested in what are those 16 areas, how does the evaluation happen? So basically we have four levels here managed, defined, quantitatively managed, and optimizing. Uh, when it comes to uh, team, TPI, we basically have blank in the initial column, if you see. So initial is not a phase or not a level of uh, evaluation. So further to add here, of course, four maturity levels for are defined in the model for each of the 16 areas. Specific checkpoints are defined to areas, uh, assess each key area at each of the maturity level. Assessment results are summarized and visualized by means of maturity matrix, which covers all the key areas. So indeed, if you see further into this detail, uh, we have 16 areas as stakeholder commitment, degree of involvement, test strategy, test organization, communication, reporting, test process management, estimating and planning, matrix, and then def defect management, testware management, methodology practices, tester professionalism, test case design, test basis, test tools, 
and test environment. So these 16 areas at each level will be evaluated for its efficiency and we'll be rating them whether they are needs improvement, it is currently good or excellent or improving. So we'll have different statuses to give away. And that is what the rating says A, B, C, D. When the organization reaches finally the status D, that means they are highly mature and they have established a good process altogether. So however, the 16 key areas is also not in our syllabus. And so you don't have to recall or remember them for the examination, but this is more from the information that you should understand what is TPI next when we say 16 key areas. Okay, so finally coming to the point, of course, if you need any more information on TPI Next, you can visit the website, official website of TPI, that is tmap.net, and you can find more information related to that. So that's pretty much what we wanted to convey you from the model based. The next topic will be talking about analytical, so stay tuned for that. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.